Quaint Emerald Game Development. In the near future, the world is consumed by a great crisis. The resources of the planet are to win. The traditions mean nothing anymore. It leads to many wars one after another. Basically, the planet was ruined after many wars. But there were these jerks. These jerks were called the opposition. And, uh, and, the, and the countries that were remaining had to make the alliance to combat these jerks. And you are commander in the alliance. And you are basically their sole hope in killing all the jerks. Or annihilating them enough that they won't that would leave the alliance alone. And other one and other people alone. Age of Steel Recharge. And welcome to Walkthrough's gameplay video of Age of Steel Recharge. I'm just fine. Here we're doing a, we're doing another uh, we're doing another gameplay video of another interesting game. Uh, today we're looking at Age of Steel Recharge. By the way, I hope you apologize about my summarizing of the uh, of the intro. It you know it, get, it, went by, it, it goes by too fast for me to read out loud. It actually goes by it goes by a little too fast for me to read in general. Uh, but anyway, so what is Age of Steel Recharge? Well, it is. A near future RTS that is 2D. You may be saying, wait, aren't most RTS games 2D? And some of you might be asking, or some of you might be asking, wait, aren't all RTSs 2D? You're right, but you know, it just feels different because instead of being top down or isometric, or as some newer RPGs are where you can move the camera about all, where you can move the camera about all you want. Age of Steel is different. It is a kind of like a side-scrolling RPG. Imagine how the XCOM base invasions used to work in the, in the early XCOMs. Or at least I think that's how it used to work anyway. Uh, basically, it works like that. Basically, you have your base over here. You have your command bar over here. Uh, and the goal is to basically survive ways of attacks from people coming over here to over there. Uh, with your various units that you have in the command bar while also researching your base and stuff like that. So that's interesting. So that's why I decided to uh, show it off today. And also, the game is, uh, just, I mean, just released on Steam early, uh, not early access, it released on Steam, uh, January 6, 2016, for the price of $6.99. It's on sale for opening week, uh, which will end January 13, 2016, uh, for the price of $6.29. Uh, $6 and by the way, the normal price is $6.99, in case I didn't make that clear. And of course, that's US. Uh, and there, oh, and there are four mission. There are four level. There are fourteen levels, with a survival mode. Now, survival mode is where you, you know, is where basically you get the gameplay from. Because fourteen missions, you can pretty much blow up high stat. I mean, when it comes to basically short games, I want to give them as cheap as possible. And, and fourteen missions for this price, judging I don't know how mission, I don't know how long missions are, but saying each mission is ten minutes long, fourteen missions. That is. Uh, uh, is, uh, just under two hours. So, you know, that's not a good thing, but, you know, but however, uh, you can have, you have survival mode that you can mess around with. So, yeah, today we'll be doing campaign and a little bit of survival mode once we understand how the things work. Alright, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, alright. Oh, that was welcome to main. Uh, two, actually, let's go back. Back it up, back it up. Oh, by the way, let's look at the options real quick. You can have full screen on, you can have sound on, you can have sound on and off, you can have shake, screen shake on and off. Uh, actually, that's something they actually advertised in their trailer saying, oh, by the way, you can turn off screen shake if you don't like it. Which we'll see if I like it or not. And you can also reset progress. So, so this is basically like a, a PL. Um, so, yeah, let's go. Campaign, okay. Campaign prologue. Hill tutorial. I saw a town located in the mountainous area. Earlier here, earlier, earlier here were a large scale fighting. Now this area is used as a training ground for new commanders. All right. Let's go. Good day, commander. Before we allow you to 
to, con to control the base, we want to show you the, base the basics of gameplay. It won't take long. The bar shows going to set its base. If it if it is empty, the base is destroyed, and you and you and you lost. This bar shows the resource extraction when it gets filled. Your basic resources. You can also spend resources. Uh, text. Uh, I'm not. Gonna, I can't read them anymore. Okay. All right. Get one, all right. Get some things out. Oh, I think we actually have to upgrade that. I mean, that's the thing I do, man. There we go. Get that working. I gotta think. Oh, this is actually pretty cool. Oh, yeah, I will be nice. Okay, we, our guys can shoot around the wall. That's good now. Oh, we got a suicide buggy. Where are these not? I mean, they are the opposition, which I kind of like not. Because they are these random jerks that showed up for no apparent reason. So, get out of there. Oh! you ha Okay, when you suck something, you have to place it. Okay, that's interesting. That's the easiest tanks. There we go. Okay, so okay, I think I, go, I think I, go with a, I, I think I get how you play the game. Um, okay, basically you start with uh, you start with this. So you have to upgrade, get tanks, and with this, uh, that's, your, that's your basic thing. Upgrade, you upgrade. Then this is basically this allows you to have some tanks. Uh, I mean that that's your reason. It's hard to explain for me. Uh, not like I have a good grasp of English anyway. Be sure accomplished. Oh, that's one. I want a campaign act one. All right, uh, I'll go over. Uh, you know, I'll. Uh, that's like menu. I'll. Uh, you know, I'll go over. Uh, I'll try to go over the controls next mission. All right. Uh, to the first one. Contact chapter one. A desert area. With a communication tower in the center, the, this bu this building is not only is wait this building is not only an important mean of communication, but also a powerful weapon that can cause precise overall strikes against enemy targets. Special features are enemy overall strikes, and if we do this, we get and, and this one is the the height. Chapter one, so covered mountains in which located massive factories that are engaged in a supply of resources and military technologies that's why this place is a great this why th that's why this place has great strategic importance for Hunet bear oh uh, you know i can try overall strike i'm pretty sure we can just do them all okay right, okay let's get in here all right commander we need to keep the strategically important point our mission is to gain for hold and i couldn't read that I, I, I shouldn't read it out loud, because I read it out loud, I read it as fast as I read it out loud. Alright, but anyway, so let's do this. Okay, we can start producing tanks, we can put... Oh, we don't even have turrets put down, that's not good. Okay, yeah, uh, wait, see, this is your building menu. This is, actually, this is your, actually, object building menu. Uh... And this is your, no, this is your upgrade menu, and your building building menu. Uh, we can do a little strike if we need to. Let's get them... Let's get some things out. Oh, I wish you could zoom in. That'd be nice. Can we overall strike somebody? Oh, right there. Oh, okay. That's instant. Got it. That one of those dumb buggies. All 
I guess we can't... I guess we can't upgrade anything for this mission. Well, the game's simple, and it works really well. It looks really nice. You know, in its, in its pixel art glory. Which, by the way, this is pixel art. <laughs> this is not 18-bit. This is not 6-bit. This is not six bit. This is not anything like that. It's not retro, no, styled. It's pixel art. Uh, whether or not you like pixel art, you know, who knows. I mean, some people don't like pixel art, but, you know, pixel art is an art form as much as, you know, having battlefield level graphics. Oh, that's not good. Man, those suicide units. Maybe sticking upgrades. Man, it's okay. Where to go with the or okay, they're automatic. And so this is basically an interesting version. This is basically like a twist on both RTS and uh, uh, RTS and oh great, need to find a wall. Uh, this is definitely a twist be between RTS or a twist. No, basically, no, like a twist between RTS and uh, tower defense game. My wall will defend. I, think we need, I don't think we need more turrets. How do you not do something? Great. Yeah, I don't think you can get... Yeah, I don't think you can... Uh... Okay, that's what these do. Hold it. Don't hold it. Ah, okay. No, I didn't get rid of... How do you get rid of the turret? I don't want to place it down. Be fine. Okay, so I guess that's good to know that you can't get rid of stuff once you actually click it. Try right clicking, try backspacing, try escaping, none, none worked. Oh, that's a light tank. What am I doing? No, this looks like a. This looks slightly heavier than that tank, but oh well. Let's get those upgraded. I think it's what they're good for. Yeah, light tank is fast enough, but has light weapons and weak armor. I guess that's if you really want to put it out there. No, if that's no, that's when you want to put it out there really fast. Medium tanks are good tanks. Okay, let's send some mediums. And this is a crit of base. Now so I doing something. Suck! Aw. Oh. Oh, come on, guys. I need to blow something up. Uh, suck Gatorade. The Gatorade laser. Suck the orange laser. The orange cannon. It works on pure orange Gatorade. Okay, let's get to our second upgrade. I mean, the game is just really made really well. I mean, like, the only real thing I'm having with... There's only two things that you know, I'm not quite liking about the game right now. It's the fact that you can't zoom. Oh, that's not that bad. Uh, and the fact that you can't, you know, once you click on something, you have to build it. Oh, what is this badness? Um, ships? Uh, let's go aircraft. Okay, yeah, good thing. <laughs> good thing, I'm, um, you know, good thing I like aircraft. Okay, we need aircraft. Ooh, helicopter. Get out there. Yeah, we definitely need an entire craft turret. Let's upgrade this. Yeah, you got flying machines. Great. Oh, maybe I should put these up there. Can I move these? No, I can't. And I think something's covered. I can get more tanks, but I don't think we quite need them. Yeah, we definitely need more aircraft. How much do we need? Uh, 68. We have... Or, no, that's just 7. There we go. Oh, jets. That'd be nice. No, not the bomber. Not the... Oh, not the bomber. You. Okay, so you can't right-click on this to stop it from producing it. Okay. Oh, I guess, you know, I guess you can't recall it once it's produced. That's interesting to note. Um. 
I'm gonna see more helicopters before we start anything else. Okay, we won't upgrade our mediums. Oh, we definitely won't upgrade our mediums. We're losing them. Stun the mediums. Uh, oh, can't upgrade the tanks quite yet. Oh, I want some more turrets. Any better turrets? Not really. There we go. Actually, we can upgrade the wall. It'd be nice. But no wall. Alright. Level 2 tanks. So we can get some heavies out there. Okay, we're running more helicopters and ooh, heavy tank. A heavy tank with a powerful and pretty strong armor, very slow. Yeah, it's so it wouldn't matter in this fight. Oh, let's see my heavies. There they are. Oh, they got not very good range. Do we need more helicopters? Oh, did we build what we can build? Ah, uh, apparently so. Let's get the ship so we can get level 3. I'm liking this game so far. Easy way to tell I'm liking it is because I'm just commenting and not saying anything. I can't get this. Maybe. There, and I can get. Oh, comes are heavy. It's this poor range. The heavy just wants to kill things, and his guns are not having it for him today. Wait, what do we get at tier 3, I wonder? More planes, I'll take these. Hey, great! It seems the, op the opposition is temporarily receded. They certainly... we win. Alright, our boss battle. Mission accomplished. Unlocked contract survival mode level. All right, let's go back. Oh, so it's survival mode on different levels. I wonder. Yes, look at there are different survival me levels. The best we survival is just endless campaign missions, pretty much. All right, as to you, the height, snow covered mountains in which you locate massive fortresses or factories that are engaged in supply of resources and military technologies. That's why this place has great to strate strategic importance. Chapter 1. Can you get that building? Yeah, as soon as we got money, we're going to be doing that. Okay. Commander, that means learn about our secret that went by. I wish I wish you have to click on those in order to get them out off the screen, because right now you, you can't click on them and they just go away too fast. Are these the bears? No, is this our medium? Oh, bears aren't they? Oh, bear is, uh... Uh, bear is the, uh... It's a tank destroyer. Interesting. I like a T-95, maybe. Remember, I got have room to put walls, but we just want to spam those right now. I'll get that working. Okay, so basically, in order to unlock the next tier, you have to research everything. That's good to know. Okay, let's put that wall up. Our wall's up. Right there, there we go. Oh, it's gonna be our units. So let's fill one more tank and uh, wait. And then we'll uh, do some tier 2 stuff. Go for next wave. Who 
Commander, we are told in Pain Touch there we should. Oh, great. Don't have aircraft yet. Oh, we'll, totally, we'll be totally defenseless until we can build till two. Or until we can build two, two. Come on. Money, money, money. You better mine faster, mine faster. Fill that bar. More, more. Keep doing it. Never stop. One more shield do. Flying machine's great. Okay, basically, uh, this is your resources at your base life. That is, uh, you know, that's your mining progress. That is production progress. That is, uh, like, how many, this is your unit cap. And flying machines, flying machines, flying machines. Oh, great. 200? Oh, that'd be, that'd be fast. Can you just build the turrets? Yes, we can. But they're not going to help. But they're not going to help! Uh, I clicked on it. I clicked on it. Okay, fine. Go right there. Oh, bomber. Oh, that's what the that's what those are for. Is for bombers. All right. Come on, we're going to need some helicopters. Oh, great. And two, because we got three walls and two turrets. Make that three. Which means that's four. I think there's an amazing range. He tanks up. Get more tanks up. To turn it back. And we need more helicopters. Okay, yeah, we're going to need more birds. Okay, we're going to need more birds up in here. Upgrade these null turrets. And upgrade, I'm going to upgrade the mediums in a second. Uh, I mean, this game is a whole. It is extremely fast-paced. And you know, there is a lot of thinking about this. Well, it's not just you know, it's not just fast-paced. You know, no thinking. It's not Twitch-based, although it can be. You know, it is very. Uh, you, know, you have to think. You have to think through it. You know, it's a thinking game. You only have so many resources, and you only got so much time. So you gotta figure out, okay, which one am I going to go now? Uh, let's see now, heavy. And the helicopter. And the helicopter. I'm not, you know, I'm not very confident in the uh, in these things. I'm very confident in my helicopters, though. And these Zetals. I guess I can go these Orcas, because, well, they look like Orcas. Alright, anything else I can do? I can build the boat. Man, these everything's taking their sweet time to get on the battlefield. I mean, I don't think they're taking their sweet time. They're trying really hard to get it out there. They're just so slow that they can't. Oh, yeah, let's get another turret up. Okay, nothing's baking anymore. Yeah, I can change you at a moment's notice. Which means we can just upgrade our base at our leisure now. I'm not bored about production. I, I like the music, by the way. I mean, I never comment on music or sound. I really should start doing it more. I just, I just never really, it never stands out enough to me in order for me to do it. I mean, that's the good thing. If, if the music doesn't stand out, that means they're doing it right. Uh, or if they're doing, or, well, they could be doing it horribly, horribly wrong as well. Oh, we need more helicopters. Oh, we don't need bombers. Oh, we need upgrade helicopters as well. Yeah, we're going to need more helicopters. But yeah, the game looks nice. It plays great, just except the fact that you can't get rid of something. You can't get, you know, basically, you can only get, you can only stop things producing. You can actually get rid of something that you're about to place. Yeah, spam helicopters. Just spam helicopters. All right now, because that's what they were taking us with. And we're going to need, uh, let's get the mediums out in the field. Okay, helicopter spam is working. Ooh, actually, I take that back. Let's try out the uh, bears. Let's see how much range these things have. More than the heavy tanks, but not a lot. I'm thinking, actually, let's get some medium down the field. 
Oh, they got rid of fire, though. Wow. I should upgrade a wall. I mean, I don't see much of a point in the light tanks other than if you really need to get forces out on the field now, then I see a reason to use them, but otherwise, not really. But you know, that goes back to the sticking part. Like, do you want to build a medium dig which performs better, or do you want to build a light tank because your enemies are or your enemies are about to invade your base? Uh, you know, same with, same, basically, like, what do you, what are you concerned about at this point? Are you concerned about ground forces or air forces? So yeah, I mean, it's, uh, like I said, it's, a, it's like a really fast paced sinking game. There we go. I wish you could make these guys hide behind the wall. But that might be a little cheap. Good, our helicopter spam is at maximum, is at maximum efficiency. Good. And let's get tier three. Oh, big things are coming. But I like to see them get fast and stuff in these. I do want to get my uh, base upgraded with that shield. Oh, okay, we already got the base upgraded with the shield, then we just need more shields. Right, let's go after them, my forces. Oh, ooh, that thing's. Is that thing double barreled? Yes, it is. Or has multiple guns? Oh, yeah. Like I said! Like I said, did you see how many shots they were putting out? You perfectly copy, Commander. Surely this is not the last attempt of the enemy to take this position. So that longer you come back here and now en enjoy the victory. Yeah! Or something similar to that effect again. I was trying to read it as fast as possible. But uh, you saw me shells my tanks were pulling out, so whatever they were sitting at us was going to die instantly, like happen like what happened to him. Alright, by the way, so mission accomplished. Alright, unlock the heights by one more level. Campaign Act 2. Turn to the menu. Actually, we're, almost, we're almost out of time, so let's do some uh, uh let's do some survival then. Let's let's see. Can we do more of these campaign levels? Yes, we can. Alright, what are you? Oh, the high chapter two, and then we can just do more chapter one. Oh, are these like? Oh, I can only really choose missions I haven't done yet. Interesting. All right, so I guess this is just that mission, but harder. All right, and then these two of those are all right. Well, we'll, you know, we'll come back and do them later, but let's do some survival now. Uh, let's just do you. All right, resources 1,727, record none. Hilltown, a small town located in a mountainous area earlier. There were a large scale fighting. Now this area is used as a training ground for new commanders. All right, and you? Oh, that's what that's for. That's what the resources are for. Uh, we'll just do this for now. Until so long we can survive. Alright, welcome, uh, Commander. Welcome to Survival Mode. Get ready, and the text is about to begin. Survive as long as you can. Roger that. Uh, 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 I need tanks? Oh, do I? Uh, I have everything unlocked. Good. Uh, we're going to... Oh, my... Those won't, those won't do it. <sighs> yes, I need that. I need lots of these things. I don't care what they are, we need lots of them. We need big flying machines, and now, oh, now we, big, now we need big little ground machines. Um, we need you. Oh my word. Oh, yes, destroy the bullets, destroy the bullets. That makes, that, there you go, that does something. Yes, keep spamming tanks. Okay, now we can start spamming the ships. We need to upgrade those ships. Oh, they got their own big ships. Oh, great. Now I might need some light. We should get this some heavy jets. Alright, let's use some heavy jets. Okay, we have a big gun. They have a big gun. It's an equal fight. Oh, that takes that's taking forever. Undo it. I mean, it was almost done, but spam bombers. Our spam heavy fighters. Oh, they fight on a different level. Oh, we can spam these all we want. All right. 
gravy tanks are going to need assistance. Turrets. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, my. Bombers are running, but... Yes! Bomb him! Yes! Alright, well, we know to fight them, we can just do bombers. Um, sure, let's do carrier. This carrier might be fun. Here they come, our bomb has been off screen. But we are going to get the carrier. I mean, heavy jets. Alright. Hey, at least our base, to, at least our ground defenses are doing okay. Let's upgrade that. Oh, great, that's the more we're going to need them. Yeah, they seem like they're not wanting to attack our, uh... No, they're not wanting to attack our... No, they, they're mainly focusing on air. Alright, we're going to need... Uh, we can just do mediums. Yeah, let's just do mediums. So, they basically can do mediums so they can get on the field faster. Okay, we're going to need more heavy jets. A carry is just owning things. Oh no, it's dead. Let's fire on the heavies. Fire on the heavies. We can't spin fast enough, sir. I don't curse them. Move faster. I'll try. Okay, no, no uh, upgraded tanks. You know what? One of you is going to suck on this. Oh, that's, what is that? Oh, that's a cat. Oh, that's a. Ooh, that's a cannon. Yeah, that's a cannon. Walls. Oh, hey, we're pushed them back. Oh, my, where the cannon? We need to get our heavy jets. Oh, yeah, it's cheating. You. you and your bombs. It's like me with my bombs. There you go. I wish my I wish my heavy jets would stay on screen, but oh well. Alright, let's get carrier. Let's be honest, just spamming jets when I need to seems to work very well. And let's get some heavies up on the field. Prepare to spam I mean spam the heavies! Alright, sir, I'll try, but they're heavy things. Okay, we spam them. I don't care how. I, I don't care about how, just do it. Alright, sir, I'll try. No upgrade the heavy tanks. Alright, sir, we're fine. As long as we get the money, we can do this. The heavy tanks are fully upgraded already. Okay, do we need to spam the Oh yeah, yeah, I forgot they launched the bombers. Yeah, let's start spamming heavy jets. Actually, we can, still, we can do the birds, because birds do something. These birds stay on screen, they don't get off, they don't go off screen. And now let's upgrade the birds. We're gonna need another wall. We I mean, don't really need a, actually, yes, we do need a wall. We stop their bullets and stuff. Okay, let's find turrets. Oh, they blow up a carrier. Too far, don't tell me too far. It's never far enough, you mean. Oh, great. Oh, we lost our birds. Are these our fully upgraded heavy tanks? That's what they become, really? Alright. You're going to need more carriers. Okay, I think that I think that lane's safe once uh once we get those in there. Oh, I didn't make two carriers! My bad, didn't mean to. Oh, she's gonna be hilarious. Okay, I think we're good now. I think we're good now. Down, 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 down. 
I like this music. I really like this music. It fits the game very well. As well as the sound. Oh, come on, helicopter. There we go. But two carriers. <laughs> Who wins? I mean, they got heavy ships. They got carriers. But they should win because they got a big gun. But no, oh, overall, not really. I mean, if we lose a carrier, I might do another heavy ship. I mean, but the carriers are just so good. Oh, we lost the carrier. I think they have full health. Uh, you know what? Now let's get the heavy ships out. Now we're gonna need some more helicopters. Or birds. Oh, we can't do the birds. I I did one too many clicks on the heavy sheeps. You know, I think we've reached a point where we can basically last as long as we want. Alright, as long as long as we do this, okay, we're gonna need a bird. Oh we might need more heavies. Oh we're gonna need more heavies. We're going to need more of these. We're going to need a bigger tank. Okay. Oh. No, I want it. I keep thinking it's the over the laser. It's not. Alright, that's going to be a waste of money. And you know it's space actually. Oh, we're going to need helicopters. Oh, we might actually lose this now. Oh, yeah, we will. Just look at this madness. I didn't know this place was Sparta. Uh, how's everything going? Everything's going fine. As fine as we can be, anyway. Get put up there in case we got the little suicide things. And uh, now I can't fit it. Now I can get rid of it. Okay, there we go. Put it there then. Yeah, things are getting in the field. Oh, that's gonna suck. Oh, I think they, I think both of our shells hit the same target, and there was uh, one back. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's a problem. We need two heavies, and how many of our birds we have? I think we just have the one. Um, yeah. Oh, great. Oh, but you're going right into the problem. No, don't take all the heavies. I need them. One more shot, though. And I guess if you do, uh, I guess if you do a level, uh, it's based on one of the contaminations with a special unit, uh, you get to use that unit. So that'd be pretty interesting. Remember when I said we were, you know, we were basically in a place where we can get, we were have a short victory? Well, the AI decided not to let, oh, you hacker. Uh, the AI decided not to let me have that. Oh, we need to add another wall, but to turn it down. Uh-oh. Um, send out the heavy ships. Get wrecked. Oh. Do those guns not go through, do, do those guns go through carriers? Okay, no, they don't. They just we're missing. I think we got a couple birds. Be tanked. If only those shields were land on the enemy units, would be hilarious. That'd be awesome. Oh, we lost one. Oh, we need to upgrade our heavies. Our heavy shifts. There we go. Oh, nice shot. 
That one's that almost missed. Or did it miss? Ah. Well, every ships are upgraded. Uh, we need to start spending. We, we we need to start seeing more heavy tanks. Because remember, the heavy tanks are so slow, they take forever to get there. Ah, uh, wait, uh, crap. Oh, wait, come on. Just now, there's a space there. There, I got that still. Um, one more heavy tank. ships. Interesting if there was like uh it'd be, it'd be cool if there was like I mean it'd be very it'd be very good if there was a uh, like a bar up here showing off how many ships you have kinda like in Company of Heroes. Uh so you know exactly how many units you have and you know, basically you know when a unit goes because you can kinda like I have one, two, three heavy tanks, one wall or one two three heavy tanks, one no four turrets, one wall, uh four ships, stuff like that. Uh, I know exactly who you lost, because right now you have to like stare at the screen for a second and say, Who did I lose? I can't really tell. Oh, well, they're not really sitting flying machines anymore. Or, the small flying machines. No way you're going to die. You're going to have a very bad day. If my big ship didn't take you out fast. Basically, that's the line they cannot cross. You also have a ship. Fire the main gun! Oh. Man, the ship beat you to it again, turn. Oh, wait, we need flying machine. We need uh, birds. Birds, fam, away. I see the birds are smart. They stay right outside the line, so you can't put a big cannon here like that, or put any other well air defense at all. Um, did we lose a heavy tank? We might have. It's hard to tell. Uh, we'll do that, and we'll do another heavy tank. Oh, we lost the turrets. And actually, we can put a big no. That turret dies. We can put a big turret there. I mean, if we could make, we put we could put a uh, anti-air cannon there as well. We're actually using our base health. Okay, let's try repair. Remember, while we're pairing, I can't make any units. So we'll get our base life back. We might lose it. You know, we might be in a worse situation if we don't have any units on the field. I don't need more of these. Thanks. Oh, we're gonna need more birds in a second. And the wall. Um, or actually, more birds and a wall, actually. Heavy ship. Ah. We're doing it, we're doing it. Yeah, I'm never going to part this video in half, or maybe three thirds, because this battle's taking forever. I thought I. Honestly, I thought either I would be in a spot where I wouldn't have died and I could just quit, or why I would be in a spot where I have already died. Um, so yeah. And I will go over my thoughts, but I'm not quite sure how long this will last.
Oh, we're going to need a wall and turrets in a sec. Wait, there we go. Not heavy tanks. Oh yeah, see the space can actually fly and it says right there you it can fly. I'm not sure I'm not quite sure I'm 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 not quite I, I don't know where the option is to make the ship make space fly, but it probably is there somewhere. Okay, more big ships. Oh, let me come out win this time. They might actually win us this push. I kind of like the lack of control. You know why? Because it actually adds to the strategy. As if I was able to tell, like, my heavy tanks to actually sit back here behind the wall, or tell my carry to sit way back here, um, you know, like, the game will be a much different game. It'll probably be a little bit easier because instead of, you know, having to memorize where your vehicles will be placed, and that's not, oh, we're going to lose, yeah, we're going to lose with this. Uh, try, actually, don't try, we're just going to try to defend it. Actually, you yeah, try to repair. You might be able to do it since we got units on the field. Oh, it's gonna be close though. My did my decision cost me? Oh wait, uh, ha! Uh, keep preparing. Actually, don't keep preparing. Uh, we need heavy ships right now, or else we won't matter. I love it. Uh, don't question what's blowing them up. Are they killing themselves or what? Okay, ref two. Great. Okay, that's our command shot. Better get out of here. Ah. Uh, uh, I think we lost. How long did I do? I mean, how well did I do? The base is destroyed. Enemies destroyed 243. Losses 19. Resources 19,257. Uh, uh, total time 17 minutes. Uh, return to my menu. Alright. Man, I, you, know, I, you know, I was getting this game for survival mode because a 14, a 14 mission long campaign probably wouldn't last me all that much. Or wouldn't last me all that long. Uh... And I knew there was survival mode, so basically, you know, like most of the, basically most of the price was for the endless repayability of survival mode, as well as the, uh, you know, as well as the, you know, the limited repayability of campaign. So, I definitely think this game is worth, uh, you know, I definitely think this game is worth the $6.99. Uh, especially if you can get it cheaper, man, if you can get this game for cheaper, it'd be even better. Like, if you can get it for this game for like 3 2 $1, or even less, uh, yes, of course, uh, maybe all set. I mean, someone said that this game, uh, in the same review, someone said that this game is, you know, lacking content for its price tag. Not really. Um, it, it's not really because that survival mode and the 14 minute long campaign, 14 minute long campaign, it's very, you know, it's very well polished. You know, it's polished in the terms of, like, Nintendo and EA games. Um, even though it, you know, you know, it's extremely well polished. Like, there is no, like, flaws. Like, there's no visual flaws, there's no audio flaws, there is no gameplay flaws. It works really, really well. Um, I mean, the graphics are... Like, I, I, I really like the graphics. I do like pixel art. Um, you know, I, I do like the... I do like pixel art as much as I do... As much as I like, uh, realistic high polygon, you know, graphics like you find in Battlefield and, uh, Crytek games. Um, but, you know, it, it's really a pixel art. And this is pixel art. This is not retro style like, uh, CrossCode is. It's, 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 it's pixel art. As in people making art out of pixels. Or... And the baby will making highly, you know, well, you know, highly well made graphics out of pixels. And instead of being limited to 16 or le or 16 or 8 bit, because well, that's just what they're going for. Uh, and the reason why I think people do make games that are pixels instead of instead of uh, uh the reason why I think people make pixel games instead of uh, you know, polygon games is simple. It's harder to make a polygon game than it is a pixel game because pixel art is as you see right here. Pixel, pixel, pixel. Basically, imagine drawing with the square tool in, uh, uh, in, in, in Microsoft Paint. It's basically that. Unlike, 
like uh, on like making models out of polygons, which is really a difficult process. Um, and you know, you can really fail at making polygons, but it's hard to fail at making pixel graphics. Um, so, and also pixel graphics are way cheaper than uh, polygon graphics are to make. Basically, they take less time and they just are easier to make. Um, whereas, you know, like you need a modeler for, you need like a modeler for polygon, so it's not, you know, uh, it, it's harder. So that's why I think people do it, and people might just do it for the look as well, because there are people like me that do like pixel art, uh, do like, do like pixel art look. Um, but yeah, so again, the graphics are really nice, the sound, the sound's really nice, uh, the, uh, the sound's really nice, the, um, the music's really nice, the gameplay is very fluid, I, you know, I only have a few complaints, like the whole, you can't zoom in on your units, which, now that, now that I play the game, uh, it's not much of a complaint anymore, as just me, you know, it'd be cool if you could zoom in, but it's not very necessary, for the simple fact that you need to see the entire battlefield all the time in this game. Um, but it still doesn't get rid of the L point of if I click on something, I'm locked to it if it's already produced. You know, because if I accidentally click on something and, or if I click on something and I can't place it anywhere, uh, then, you know, that's a waste, that's waste. Um, so yeah, I wish you could, instead of, instead of locking on, instead of basically clicking on something and then locking on to get a decision, uh, I wish you could right click on Basically, if you have a ghost image, you can right-click on it to get rid of it. You know, no big deal. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm fine with the I find with the ability to delete, to delete units like most uh, like most games with unit caps because you know you just add you know it just adds to the gameplay. And another feature that I would like is a uh, ability to have like a bar on top showing you all your showing you all your units. By units, I mean both uh, vehicles and uh, bases, fences. Because without that, it's hard to tell what unit you lost unless you're really paying attention to both to all three to all three uh, or all four, I should say, uh, battles, which is your high altitude air battle, your mid altitude ship battle, your tank battle, and your defenses. Because uh, you know it, it, it can be difficult for someone to actually pay attention and see exactly which see exactly what unit was destroyed. However, if you had a bar on top or a bar somewhere showing where the, showing what unit you have made. Uh, then you know exactly which unit you lost, because you can count, like, basically you can just, you can even just have a picture of a unit and its number, and then a picture of a unit and its number, and know exactly how many units you lost, or I guess what you could do, is you can make it so, on the bottom of the screen where you produce your units, you can make it so, uh, those had numbers on them, so you know exactly what units you have there, but, you know, it still won't be as good as having a bar on top showing all the units you have, but, you know, it, it depends on, you know what, what they're going for because on the bomb you could get lost from bombing units and you might think you had a unit when you actually didn't however if you have however if it was somewhere else on the screen uh you know for a fact that that unit was not there anymore and so far those are my those are only my those are my only uh those were those are my two only real complaints uh this game is very 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 well done and again it's only 699 you can get a couple of hours of this game for sure uh, both uh, playing through the campaign and just playing through in the survival, seeing you know, what you can do. So yeah, would I recommend this game? I definitely would. It's definitely a very, very good, interesting game because it's not really an RTS. It kind of is, but it's more of a tower defense game. I mean, it's a, basically it's a tower defense that you produce like in like you can you produce and upgrade like in a uh, like in an RTS. Um. But, you know, even then, it's not that bad, you know, it's not, you know, it, it still works as a 2D RTS. It's just, you know, not very much, it's just not very rts -y being, seeing that the fact that your units go fixed distances and you can't control your units or, you know, you can't even give a general d direction where your units go, basically they just do what they want. But, you know, there, I'm not saying there's no strategy in the game. Uh, there's a lot of strategy in this game. Uh, I mean, for people that prefer slower-paced games and say slower-paced games are the only games with strategy, this game will actually show you something different, because even though it's extremely fast-paced, even twitchy sometimes, it is ex in the extreme strategy, because it's just how the game operates. Like, you can only produce one thing at a time. Um, like, if you're producing a ground unit, you better make sure that there are no air units coming, or your units are fine. Uh, or if you're going for a base repair, you better make sure that they are not that they are not coming to kill you. Uh, where you're doing, where we're in the middle of repair, um, 
and you know you better make sure you have defenders or at least enough to defend till the base repair gets going because if you don't then they can just destroy you before the base repair gets you know gets off or do you want to build a wall or do you want to build a slow moving unit or do you want to basically if the inmates are coming and do you want to take the time to actually build a slow unit that will take longer to get there however you, or you can build it faster than to get there faster, but he will die instantly, as opposed to a sword unit never dying. So yeah, I mean, it's definitely, you know, that strategy, it's fast, it's a fast-paced strategy game. It, it's a fast-paced 2D strategy tower defense game. It's how I would call it. And it's how I will probably put it in the uh, title. Uh, but, we'll, but we shall see. But overall, it's a very, very good game. Uh, I mean, is it overpriced? Maybe it is, but it's not that overpriced. Uh, I mean... In the terms of content, it could it could be a little more. You no, know, you could add more missions. It could add more complexity to the campaign. It could add. Uh, I mean, just really need more units, just more campaign, and maybe different types of maybe uh, maybe customization of survival where you can choose which special units you want instead of having to do the uh, instead of having to do that map or choose all of them at once and see if you can just dominate the enemy or even change on how the enemy spawns. In survival, changing how the waves are. Um. But yeah, I mean, overall, it's just a very, very good game, and it definitely is worth it. So, um, it has recommendations. So, uh, yeah, that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate you watching on this video. You watch me. You watch me out to me to leave a comment for Church Live and tell me if I have any following series or not, as I'm doing all the campaign and maybe doing at least one video on each survival mission after we do the campaign. You know, it depends on whether you guys want it or not, or it depends on, you know, uh, and definitely I'll see, see how this popular this video is, and if it's not popular, I'll definitely do more, I'll definitely uh, do a mission of every campaign, because the campaign doesn't seem to be that hard, but that hard, I mean, it might be that hard to get through, but it's definitely not that slow to get through. Uh, as you can see, we already done three missions out of the three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine main missions, and you got these secondary missions, which are probably harder. But anyway, so, um, yeah, well, no, it depends on uh, how popular this video is. Alright, but anyway, so, um, yeah. I also appreciate this and I'll play Age of Steel in general with the snoops coming to prove that the old tap. And I guess, see you in the skin.